Patrick's Day um, decoration for your houses, okay? And I've been asked to come in by Corinne and Declan, who are very good friends of mine, and so is Studio Wolf. Everyone at Studio Wolf is my friend, to come in and do some arts and crafts and decorations for your house for St. Patrick's Day, which I think is really cool. And um, so what we're gonna make today is something really, really nice that you can hang in your window. It's this really cool 3D um, shamrock, okay? Now you, you don't have to do the green, white and orange like our flag, our Irish flag, but you can do it all green, you can do it all white, you can do it all orange, you can do pink, purple, polka dots, it doesn't matter, it's your design, all right? So you don't have to do it exactly the same as me, you can just do it um, whatever way you want. But I'm gonna show you how to put the whole thing together, okay? I'm gonna show you first what we need just to make sure that everyone has exactly the right things in front of them before we start. So you're not running around the kitchen like Maddie's trying to find stuff, okay? So the first thing we're going to need is a scissors. Now, if you have a safety scissors, that's cool. If you don't have a safety scissors, you need to be super careful with the big scissors, okay? Fantastic, you all have nice scissors. You all have safety scissors. You guys know what you're doing. Brilliant. Okay, second thing we're going to need is glue. Okay, so I've got this nice little glue stick. Very good. All of you guys have glue. Perfect. Fantastic. The next thing I'm going to need, now I know Kate is sorted for wool because she just showed me a massive ball of blue wool. Uh, we're not going to need the whole ball of wool. We're just going to need one bit of wool or a piece of string. Okay, and I suppose it's long enough. It's longer than my arm. Okay, if it's shorter than that too, that's all right. But mine is longer than my arm. It's almost my arm and my body. Um, a meter, that's almost what this is, okay? Um, we're also going to need some printer paper. So just normal white sheets of paper that you have at home for your printer. I've got about six. We might not use six, but it's better to have too much than not enough, okay? Brilliant. And the last thing we're going to need are markers or crayons, okay? Because we're going to colour in those lovely um, bits of our shamrock, all right, at the side. Okay, now is everyone ready to go? You can give me thumbs up if you're good to go. Fantastic, we still have people joining and everything. Great guys, that's brilliant. Okay, is Evie here? She is, yeah, fantastic. And Mia, brilliant, loads of people. That's fantastic guys. Hi to everybody and welcome. Eliza, you're still getting your stuff ready. That's perfect, well done. Brilliant. Okay, so um, while Eliza's getting her stuff ready, I'm just going to go through everything you need one more time and then we'll get started. Okay, so first thing you're going to need, scissors. Second thing you're going to need, glue. Third thing you're going to need is a piece of string or a piece of wool. Next thing you're going to need are five or six sheets of printer paper. Okay, or just white paper from a copy book or something would, would do as well, okay? And the last thing you're going to need is your markers or your crayons, okay? That's the very last thing we're going to make. So we're going to get started. And what we're going to do is we're going to take one of your sheets of white paper and we're going to hold it portrait wise, okay? So portrait is up and down like this. Landscape is this way for when we're drawing lovely pictures of the sea and the mountains. Portrait is when we take a picture of somebody like a selfie. That's a portrait, okay? So we're gonna hold it this way and we're gonna fold this in, uh, not half, just about this much, okay? Because we don't want it to be absolutely huge. So about a third of the page down, okay? We're gonna fold down the top of it, okay? Like this, all right? And do a nice strong fold. So we're just gonna run our fingers along the top like this, okay? Absolutely perfect. That's right. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, brilliant. So guys, I was just saying for those of you who just joined, if you've got a question, like just what happened there with Millie, make and do Millie ask me a question. She just unmuted herself and asked me a question. So that's what, what I need you to do because I can't see everybody. And if you're waving at me, I won't see. Okay, so just ask if you have a question. All right, so we've we folded our page in about in like a third of it in a little bit. And we're gonna use our markers or our crayons and we're gonna draw half of a love heart. And I'm gonna show you what I mean by that, okay? I'm gonna take a nice bright color. I'm gonna take orange for mine and I'm just gonna pop down my page here, okay? So this is the section here that's folded, okay? So on the folded section, you're gonna start with a love heart. You're just gonna go up and around and down to a point, okay? So what I did was, 
start here, go up and around and back down to a point like this. Okay. Fantastic. Wait, so I am on the side then um, with the fold or the other side? Yeah, the side with the fold. Okay, so you've just started here in the corner here. So the side with the fold up and around and down to the point. Yes, uh, no, upside down. So Millie, you need to go, this is this bit's joined here, okay? This bit's folded. So you see the bit you folded? If yours is like this, you need to do it this way. Okay? Because like we're, this? Um, I can't really see yours there now. One second. I will see, ask me again, Nicole, hold it up there. Yeah, so the bit that's folded, you can see what mine is there. I folded this section. So I've started from the folded I bit out. Her. Okay, so I started from the folded bit out and around and back down. So when we cut it out, I'm going to show you what it looks like. When we cut it out, it ends up being one whole heart, okay? So I'm going to show you there. You don't have to cut yours yet. Just hang on a second. When I cut mine out and I unfold it, it's one whole heart, okay? So you need to make sure the middle of it, where you start drawing from, is the folded bit, the bit that's folded in half, like the inside of a card, all right? Okay, so I'm gonna do another one down here. Again, so I'm gonna do exactly the same thing a second time, okay? So I'm gonna go from the folded bit, not the bit that's loose, the folded bit up and around and back down. So I'm gonna do that twice, okay? So I end up with, um two big love hearts mine ended up in two things like that yeah that's because you didn't cut the fold you need to make sure that it's on the folded bit okay so yeah so go back again and do the second one and i will show you in a second so you're going to do exactly the same thing a second time so you should put two of them on your folded bit so make sure that when you fold it over at the top, you can do it like this, okay? So your folded bit is in the middle of your love heart. Because if you do it on the other side, it's just gonna end up in two pieces like Claude's one did there, okay? Is everyone all right? We're getting on okay. So we're gonna do that twice. And when you have those drawn, we're gonna cut those out, okay? So I'm just gonna use my scissors and cut around the shape that I've just drawn and I end up with two lovely love hearts when I open them up like this. Okay. Fantastic. Some people have wings on. Sky is, do you have wings on? They're amazing. They're beautiful. Well done. They're gorgeous. I'd love those. Fabulous. Brilliant. So we end up with two of these lovely love hearts. All right, so take your time. Don't rush, guys. I'll wait. Don't panic. I'm going to go over everything one more time. Okay, so what we're going to do is we've taken our pieces of paper and we've held them portrait-wise, which is the long way. And we folded them just about a third of the page down. And we made a nice sharp fold on the paper, okay? And then what we did we drew our lovely love heart. So this is me making a fold here, like this, okay? And we made a nice sharp fold, nice, really strong fold on the top of it. And with the folded bit, you're gonna draw a love heart and turn it sideways and draw your love heart. So the middle of your love heart will be the folded section in the center, all right? So we're gonna do our love hearts. You just draw from the center up and around and back down to a point like this, making sure the folded bit is in the middle of your love heart. Do they have to be the same size? Um, around the same size, but they don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be exactly the same size. Okay, around the same size is fine. And we're gonna do, brilliant, that's absolutely perfect. And we're gonna do exactly the same thing underneath. And then we've cut them out and we end up with two lovely love heart shapes when you unfold them like this okay and the guys mine aren't exactly the same size either look because you know what we're not robots we don't do everything perfectly and exactly straight lines all the time life would be really boring if we were all straight lines and boring stuff okay so they're not absolutely the same size so don't worry now what i'm going to do next uh, is i want to turn that like a diamond 
that's all right. Just cut the cut a little V in the middle of it at the top, and it makes it more like a, a love heart shape, like a, a diamond. Like a diamond shape is fine too. But if you want it to look more like a, a shamrock, it needs to be kind of more V in the middle. So if you just cut a little V out of the middle like this, that's okay. So if you just cut a little V at the top like that, then it will be um, more of a love heart shape if that's what you want. Okay. That's perfect, Clodagh. Well done. Good girl. Well done. Brilliant. So I've got two of those done. Two of the love hearts. And that'll be one section of my lovely shamrock, okay? And I probably will use that as my white bit in the middle here. Okay, so that's one whole section done already. That's the easy one, the white one done. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to do another one exactly the same way as I did the first one. So I'm going to fold it over again to about a third of the page. And I'm going to use the same technique. So I'm going to draw a love heart, making sure that the middle bit is the inside of the folded bit of the paper. And I'm going to do that twice. And I'm going to do this with my green marker or my green crayon because this is going to be my green side, okay? So I've done mine in orange. I'm going to go over there in green. I'm going to go all the way around my green because we're going to colour this one in green. But as I said at the start, for those of you who um, joined after I said this, you don't have to do exactly the same colour scheme as I'm doing. I'm going to do green, white and orange for our, my one like this again. You don't have to do that. You can do all green. You can do all orange. You can do pink, purple spots, cerise with stripes, stars, anything you like on yours. It still would look St. Patrick's Day-ish because it's a shamrock shape. Okay, so it's up to you. I love to see little different designs and different ways of doing things. And if you can see, look, I've done this a second time. Okay, so I folded my paper about a third of the way down. And I've drawn another two love hearts in my green marker this time. And before I cut them out, I'm going to colour them in, okay, on this side, okay, on one side. So I'm going to take my marker and I'm just going to colour them in. Um, it's much easier to colour in your crayon because you can use the side, the side of your crayon to do it nice and fast. But um, you don't have to be super neat before you cut them out, look. I've gone outside the lines because when you cut it out, it gets rid of all the stuff you've done outside the lines. So that's why I'm not cutting them out yet. It's a little trick that I learned, okay? So this is the second piece of paper. So we've cut out our first two. We've made our first two love hearts and we've done the same thing a second time. So you've taken your paper, you folded the paper down about a third of the way down and you've drawn another two love hearts. And these are gonna be your green ones if you decided to do green, white and orange. So I've used my green marker to colour them in and to draw the the um, the lovely love hearts with as well, okay? So I'm gonna colour them in. And as I said, it doesn't matter if you go outside the lines, take your time as well. Do we colour both of them green? Yes, you do, yeah. And on the inside as well, because I know you've got yours cut out there as well. So once you've got these coloured in, you can cut them out and you're gonna color the inside. You don't have to color one of the other sides though. Well, I'd actually, do you know what? Color the whole thing green, just do, yeah. Color the whole thing green, it's much easier. Um, so I'm gonna color it all green, all right? Um, and I, like I said, it's easier, it's faster to, I suppose, color these in with a crayon because you can use the side of your crayon, can't you? You do that in school as well. Um, you know is it okay if I leave this side white and this side green? Do you know what it is? You can do, um, see what I've done with mine? I'll show you. So I've coloured all of mine green. So all the sides are green that you can see. But if you want, you can do one side white and one side green. It's completely up to yourself. You can do every second one as well, different colours. OK, so that's up to you. And I love that design idea. That's really good. Um, you're super creative in, in the uh, Studio Wolf anyway, because you're doing all your mine arts. and You what? Mine didn't turn out. Even when I cut it out the side, it just Okay, so when, you, when you're when you drawing your love heart, and I tell you what you do, use a different piece of paper and don't fold it. And just draw a love heart without folding it. Okay, that's much easier, actually. I don't know why we didn't think of that. 
So don't fold it, just draw a normal love heart and cut it out and colour it on, on both sides. Okay, so we're going to just, you're going to need four of those now. Okay, so four love hearts. So you just draw a love heart and make it nice and big, about this, maybe at least the same size as your thumb. All right, so it'll be nice and big when you're putting it in the window. And guys, yeah. these look amazing in the window. I had one of these last year in my window and it was just after we had the first lockdown and my neighbour knocked at the door and said, can you please make one of those for my window? Because it's cheering me up when I go on my walks and my grandchildren would love it. So we ended up giving one for my neighbour and then her granddaughter made one and the whole road was had loads of shamrocks and it was really nice. So even if you were making these, you could make them as presents for people you haven't seen for a while or maybe your neighbours or your friends or maybe your teachers when you go back into school on Monday. I know that one of my students um, from Chatty 2 made one for her teacher and her teacher loved it. It's up on the it's up in the classroom already. So um, these are really nice things to give as gifts because when you make something, it's full of your personality and it's full of your creativity and you you. And it means you really took the time to make something for somebody you like. Um, so and that makes it even more special that it comes from you. OK, so we've done we're colouring this one in green. So I've done one side of it and then I've cut it out and I'm going to colour both sides of the green ones green. OK, so keep going. Colour away there, guys. Um, and as I said, you don't have to do them green if you don't want to. Or if you've got a crayon, you might be colouring faster than me, which is not surprising because I'm not very fast at colouring. You guys are probably way faster at colouring than I am. Um, but that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to colour it in here. And a little trick, guys, so you don't get any marker on your tables or your mum's tablecloths or whatever you're doing, is if you've got a little scrap piece of paper, a bit of paper that you've cut off like this, you could just pop it on top of that. So if you go outside the lines... It doesn't go on the table or the tablecloth. It goes on the scrap bit of paper instead. Okay, so that's what I do. So I don't wreck my table and I'm going to keep going. All right. So how are people getting on? Are we colouring away there, guys? Are we? Good. Good. We're getting brilliant. We have some lovely backgrounds happening there. Donna has a fabulous, um, <laughs> a fabulous frame of um, smiley faces. That's very cheery. Perfect. That's fantastic. Well done, guys. Uh, Brilliant. Okay, so we're still colouring away there like mad, like maddies. My one looks like a crystal again. It's not a diamond anymore, now it's a crystal. Well, that's cool. You can make a crystal de design or you can just cut the V in the top again and make it and into look, more of a look, aren't really you? Is a crystal. Oh, it does look like a crystal. Actually, it's very cool. You could do um, a St. Patrick's and Day I mean, crystal. one of them looks like a little bum. <laughs> But I suppose that is what it looks like when it's upside down. But it's supposed to look like a love heart. We'll go on the other side. So guys, just make sure that you're cutting out at least two of the same shape. Because we're going to glue these together in a minute to be the centre of your um of your uh shamrock. Okay? So if you're making a different... One second. If you're making a different shape, you need at least two of that shape. Okay? Um, You had a question. Was it Claude Arena? Yeah, yeah. Um, do we have to make another pair? Because I already have two pairs done. Yes, we're going to make a third pair now as well. So make sure you've got them all coloured in and ready to go. So you need three sets of two, okay? So you need six love hearts in total is what we're going to do, okay? And actually, I think I'm going to steal, I think it was your idea of just doing um, the green on one side and maybe having it white on the other. So we'll see if that works for me, maybe. maybe. Um, I'm going to keep colouring because um, I have another one of those to do. And I'm sure you guys are mad colouring in your houses as well. Um, and I'm going to do, yeah, no, do you know what? I'm going to do both sides as mine as well. So look, I'm deciding along the way as well what I'm doing with mine. Um, I'm using the marker, which is a little bit slower, like I said, than the crayon. But I guess if you were making another one of these, you could, if you had the coloured paper, it would be much easier. You could just use green paper or orange paper instead of having to colour it in. Or if you knew you were making one ahead of time and you had paint, you could paint the page the night before, let it dry and then do all of this the next day. OK, and actually, these are really nice little gifts 
and you could do different shapes that these would work for as well so you could just do a single love heart for valentine's day or someone's birthday um, or mother's day is coming up on sunday guys just saying you could make maybe one of these as a love heart for your mom or your granny or whoever aunts or anything anybody you like you love and um, you could make them for those as well so you can make these the shape for that too okay or you could make a crystal one like you're making <laughs> And um, so I'm colouring away here and I'm only on the second half of my first one. So I'm sure you guys are way faster at colouring than me because you're doing this all the time in school and making arts and crafts in school and stuff like that. So off we go. And uh, almost done with my second side here now. And I am telling you, mine is not neat. I'm guessing that yours are way neater than this. And when you're done, guys, you can send maybe pictures into Kareen. Maybe she might let you do that and you can show me what they look like. So look, that's mine, my first green one. I've done two different color greens on mine. All right, so it's a dark green on one side and a light green on the other. So I'm going to do the second one, okay? So I have two white ones and I'm going to have two green ones now, okay? So I'm going to color this one green now as well. So I've done one bit of it. I'm going to keep going and color in the other sides. Fantastic. So how many of you got done, guys? You can unmute yourselves and tell me there how many what you have done. How many of you got coloured in? Three. Three? Oh my god, you are flying it. Five? What? I haven't even gotten five cut out. So you're flying it, you're way ahead of me. Seven, 12, 15. I have loads. Brilliant. Okay, so what we're going to do is when you've got your four done, so you've got your two whites, two whites, and you've got your two greens done, you're going to do exactly the same thing as we did the first two times. You're going to fold over a third of that page again, okay? I'm going to draw two love hearts, but in this time in the orange or whatever other color you want to put on there. If you have gold, that would be amazing. Okay, and we're going to do our two love hearts again, or you can do it the easier way and just draw love hearts and cut them out. Okay, okay, and uh, when we fold it in half, we're just making sure that both halves are exactly the same size, but that's okay. Um, I'm sure you guys will be brilliant at making sure they're a similar size anyway, so it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Don't worry about that. Okay, so I'm coloring away here and I'm almost finished with my green ones. And I have a much better marker for my orange ones, so I'll be able to fly through my last ones. So that's what you're doing. You're folding over the third of a page again. And making sure the folded bit is in the middle of the love heart. You're going to do twice on that page, two more love hearts. And we're going to colour those ones in orange and cut them out as well. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Now I've coloured in both sides of my love hearts you don't have to do that but i want to that's what i'm going to do with mine because i want them to be really really orange or really green okay was there a question there from somebody yeah i've had my second one nearly done already fantastic millie that's brilliant that's brilliant well done so i'm on so what was that like my love heart. I, Emily, that's beautiful. Well done. Um, yeah. I'm also almost done one side of my love heart. Brilliant. That's per oh look, that's perfect. Well done, guys. So I'm on my second side of my second love heart, but everyone colours at different speeds, so don't worry about that, okay? So we're gonna keep going, we're gonna keep colouring with this one. There's a lot of colouring in this one. Uh, I, not so much cutting. With my, with all of my love hearts. Fantastic. So have you got six all together now cut out? Yeah, because I have two whites, two oranges and two greens. Brilliant. And are you colouring both sides of them or are you yeah. just colouring one That's side? You are a flyer. You're an absolute flyer. You're way ahead of me. I coloured all of mine. Amazing. Yeah. So if you've got them all cut out, you need to colour them. 
Um, so what I've done is I'm colouring mine in between. So I've cut mine, some of them, and I'm colouring them in between. So what we should end up with are six love hearts in total, okay? So two green, two white, and two orange, all right? That's if you're doing the Irish flag. You can do all green, you can do all white, you can do all orange, or you can do, as I said, you can do any colours you want, really, guys, okay? I had somebody yesterday, and she did a pink and purple and white uh, love heart. And it still looked really cool because it looks like a shamrock when she stuck it all together. And it looked really good. Um, so it's up to you to put a bit of personality into your own one. And guys, these really cheer people up. Last year we got locked down and I had uh, made a giant one of these and I hang it from, from, I hung it from the lamp in my dining room over the table. So when we had our dinner on St. Patrick's Day, I had, we had green, white and orange food. So I had cabbage and I had turnip with my meat and I had um, I had yellow jelly, uh, mint ice cream and vanilla ice cream. Didn't taste very nice together, but it looked cool because it was green, white and orange and it looked really nice underneath my giant one of these hanging off my lamp. So now look, I've got my green one, I'm my two green ones. Amazing. I've got my two green ones done and my two white ones done. Okay, so I'm going to pop them to one side and I still haven't made my last ones. So I fold it over my paper like this. I've got my orange marker and I'm going to draw my two last two love hearts on the paper again like that. Okay, so my last two love hearts, making sure the middle of it is the folded bit. But, okay. but the thing is, when we're hanging it, do we have to make like a little hole? Um, no, I'll show you what we're going to do. It's much simpler than that, but we'll just wait till everyone catches up a little bit, including me. So you can relax there and chill out for a minute if you're ahead of me, all right? And chill out, have a snack or something. Um, so I'm just cutting out my last two, guys. So I've got my green ones done and I've got my white ones done. And I'm going to do my orange ones now. And I have a much better marker for my orange ones. So I'll be able to do that really quickly. All right. So how are we getting on, guys? Are we good? Give me thumbs up if you're all right. Yeah, good. I'm really good. Good, good. Really good. That's even better than just good. Um, fantastic. Brilliant. Brilliant. Well done, guys. Lovely. I'm getting virtual thumbs up and everything. That's fabulous. The what? You're still on, you're still doing yours, is it? I've done all of mine. You've done all of yours and you could take a break as well. Take a nap there for a second. I have to catch up with thee. My God, your flyers, your flyers in Studio Wolf. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to really quickly colour mine in orange there now. Um, uh, right. Going as fast as I can. So as I said, guys, I wish I had crayons because it's much faster with crayons, but I don't have crayons. So I'm going to go as fast as I can with my marker. OK, and actually my orange marker is running out. No. OK, um, I'm going to use this other orange marker. And yours are going to be lovely and neat and mine will be an absolute mess because I had to change markers about four times. But you get the drift. I'm just teaching how to make it. Um. As long as you know how to make it, that's my job done. Mine doesn't have to be perfect at all. Um, neither does yours. It's your own design. So are you going to give these away as presents, guys? Or are you going to keep them for your own houses? I'm going to give it to my own house. Your own house? I'm going to give it to my house. 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 I'm going to give it to my Teachers will love this. You're going to keep it. Brilliant. And you've got your orange one done there. I can see it. Well done, guys. So we need two orange, two white and two green. So that's six love hearts all together. OK, so just make sure we count yours and make sure you have enough there. I did a baby tree. You did a baby one? Okay, that's cute and some of you have done giant ones my goodness i think i made mine way too big because my love hearts are taking an age to color in and um, but we'll keep going right? i made that four things and mine 
You did paw prints? Oh, that's fabulous. I love it. making something out of my head. Really? Oh, that does look a bit weird. Um, well done with the lot. I love the little paw prints. That's really cute. You've added loads of personality onto it. So maybe if you're finished colouring, guys, you can maybe add something extra. You could draw maybe a shamrock on it or a little yeah. leprechaun or something like that on yours, um, on your love hearts, just to make sure um, you're making sure you put your own personality on it. And especially if you have brothers and sisters in the house who are doing it as well, you don't want yours getting mixed up with their artwork. So you could totally do something else. Yeah, my with this. Helping oh, they're helping you. That's good. So you, no wonder you're going really quickly if you've got a bit of help, you tricky. Uh, <laughs> I thought you had four hands there for a second. I thought there was four hands on your body. You're like an alien. Uh, <laughs> brilliant. Okay. Now I am on the first side of my orange, my second orange one. So I'm getting there. And so far, I've only run out of ink on two markers. So I, it's a plus, really. I'm doing well. Let's go. Now, so are you all in Kareem's dance class or do some of you do drama with Declan as well? I do them both. I, I, I do it with Declan. And I do both of them. Both. I do both. I do it with Declan and I do it with Kareem. And Miss Kareem and Declan. Well, aren't you guys the luckiest? So you're doing, some of you just do drama, some of you do both. Well done, guys. I do dancing with Nancy, drama with Declan, and dancing with me, Oh my God, you do loads of stuff. You're never at home, I'd say. I do both. <laughs> you do both. Guys, that's fantastic. Well, I'll tell you what, you're so lucky because you've got the best drama teachers and the best dance teachers in Cork. I know that for a fact. There you go now. Right, I have all of mine almost done. I've got one side left. So if you have six of them left, we're going to take another piece of paper and put that down on the table flat in front of you so we're ready to stick on stuff on in a second. So don't stick anything on for one moment. I'm just going to finish colouring my last side and I'll show you how to put it all together then, okay? So I'm quickly just racing through this here now. So I've almost got this one done. You've got what? Have you got um have you got the paw prints on all of yours? Or just one? Um, I got them on all of mine. Oh, very cool. I can't wait. I'd love to see that. You'll have to send a photograph into Karina and Declan. I'd love okay. to see a picture of it. Yeah, when it's done. And you can show okay. it to me then. Yeah? Brilliant. Fabulous, guys. I don't know how to send the pictures into Karina and Declan. What? Get your mums to take a picture and send it into uh, Instagram. Or your dad's. Um, and they can take I think pictures. I know how to send it. I think you go on. I think you take a go onto the app and send it. Right, do you know what? I haven't a clue. You'd have to ask Karina Declan. <laughs> so I'm giving Karina Declan more work there. Karina's going to kill me. Um, cool. All right. So I'm going around. I'm And I am done finally. Brilliant. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold all of them in half again. Now I know we flattened them out to colour them in, but I'm going to fold them all in half again. All right. Like the way they were when we cut them out. Now if you drew them just a love heart you can just fold it in half now okay so i'm folding my white ones in half i still have mine folded not flat that's okay you can stick them on like that too so don't worry all right we're going to fold them in half like this so we end up with six so i'm going to count them there okay so i've got one two green ones one two white ones and one two orange ones so i have six of these in total okay loads of them done all right so if you have them done there hold them up so i can see fantastic <laughs> lily has hers done hi evie uh, this is my second pair and this is my final brilliant pair. so you're still flying it there so millie you're working on yours brilliant you still have them done 
fantastic guys brilliant now guys don't worry if you're a little bit behind because you can always finish this off after we finish the class you don't have to get everything done all uh, in, in the time that I'm on the screen okay because if you know how to stick it all together from watching me then you will be fine you'll be able to do the other two so don't worry okay so if you're a little bit behind that's fine but I think you're actually probably ahead of me because I'm so slow with coloring okay so what I'm going to do now I'm going to hold this sheet of paper a new sheet of paper landscape so sideways like this okay and I'm going to stick on my white ones first okay and I'm going to just put glue on one half of it here like this one side folded okay and I have one rule about glue loads and loads and loads of glue okay because we don't want it falling off if you only put a bit of glue in the middle don't be mean with glue my second rule is don't be mean with chocolate so don't be mean with glue and don't be mean with chocolate okay so I'm going to take my glue and I'm just going to put glue on one side of my folded sides of my love heart okay like this like that now you can kind of see it in the light there it's a bit shiny because I have loads of glue on it and I'm going to stick it on the middle so I'm going to pop it up here I'm going to stick it towards the top in the middle like this all right like that so that's what I'm left with I've put glue on one side glued it onto my lovely white sheet of paper so it's like this okay and I'm going to get my second white one and I'm going to put glue on the other side okay so look when I stick it on it makes a love heart like that okay so I'm going to put glue but make sure you're putting glue on the right side of it okay so hold it up to your other one before you put glue on it and then go oh I need to put glue on this side so I'm going to pop glue on it like this loads of glue again don't be mean with the glue and I'm going to pop that on next to my first one okay all right so I've got two stuck on now and I've got a 3d love heart in the middle here so it's stuck on here and here and these bits are not going to glue together at all I'm going to leave them like that because when you can see the other one done like that can see it that's what it looks like when we cut it all out all right there we go brilliant well done Millie that's perfect yeah and now guys I'm going to do exactly the same thing as I did with this one but I'm going to go over here next to it and I'm going to start with my green one okay now I know everything's reversed for you guys so the green should be on your left okay so most people are right handed the hand you write with and um, so it's your other side that is the green side okay so I'm going to pop mine on and you're going to do exactly the same thing again you're going to put glue on one side okay putting glue on one side of it loads and loads of glue don't be mean and we're going to pop that on next to it okay and then we're going to put the other one next to that and make sure you're measuring it just to make sure you put the glue on the correct side all right I can't wait to see what these look like when they're done, guys. These are going to be amazing. Okay. So you can see mine there. Now I've put on my green next to my white. And that's what my green and my white one looks like. And I've done two different kind of color greens. All right. That's my green and my white. So I've just glued on one half here and the other half up against it. And when you flatten it out, you can see it a bit better. Okay. So this is one, two, three and four and I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the other side with my orange ones okay and just to make sure again measure which side you need to put the glue on I know I need to put it here so I'm, I'm going to put glue on that side and loads of glue and this is really the the, the easy bit the, the, the hard bit was really kind of I suppose cutting out all of those love hearts um and coloring them in and this is the easy bit now i love putting all of this stuff together when you have things done um, and i'm just putting glue on my last one here now but as i said guys as long as you know how to do the first color you'll be fine because you can do the other two colors are exactly the same okay so now i have i forgot to do it and now i have glue on both the stuff that i just 
that's okay just stick one side on and the other side will dry out in the air okay don't worry so that's what mine looks like they kind of look like butterflies when you shake it up and down like that okay like this all right and the last thing I'm going to do to this piece of paper is I'm going to draw a triangle from here all the way down to the end of the paper okay and I'm going to use my lovely green marker to do that so I want to draw a big triangle yeah. That's okay, don't worry if you're a little bit behind, don't panic, all right? Like that. So I've just drawn a line in a triangle down to the bottom of the page on both sides. When you're up as far as there, we're going to cut this whole thing out now, okay, as one big shamrock. And you can kind of see the shadow at the back if I do this with my lamp. There's a shadow look like that at the back. So that's all be one big shape. It's one big shape now, and we're going to cut that out, all right? If it's easier, you can go around the whole shape with your green marker, which is what I'm going to do. Um, and I know then I'll just cut around my green lines. Okay, so I'm going to show you there what I mean. So I'm going around the whole thing with my green marker. I've gone around this whole one here. I'm going to go around the top one and the side and I'll just cut around that lovely green line all the way around. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. Well done. Okay, so I'm going to cut this out once I've gone around it in my green marker, okay? You don't have to go around it in green marker, but I find it's easier to follow the one colour line all the way around, but that's just me. Okay, I like things simple. OK, so I've gone around the whole thing there in my green marker, you can see. OK, and I'm just going to follow that line around and cut around the whole thing. All right. And then we're almost done. It's just sticking stuff on from now on. So you just cut this bit out. And I'm going to try and be as neat as I can for this. I find if you're cutting something out of a big sheet of paper, if you cut it out roughly first like this, look. It means there's less paper to fiddle with, especially if you have small hands. OK, so I'm roughly cutting it out first like that. I have less paper then to mess around with. All right. Are you OK? Do you have a question? Um, my mom is doing all the art while I me and draw in different art things. Is she? Is she helping yeah. you out? I cut out um, the tendons and she's working on the chandra. So you're making it together. That's really lovely. No, I'm making the ten different things and she's making the chandra. Perfect. Well, that's brilliant, though. You're helping each other out and you're having fun doing it. That's brilliant. So you're getting creative together. I hope you're getting your mum something nice for Mother's Day for helping. Um, I'm... I'm actually am not buying anything. You're not? Because I'm going to be a DJ in the party. Are you? Amazing. That's a brilliant present. That's brilliant. And we're going to have it on Saturday and Sunday. Oh, um, a whole weekend of partying. Can I move in with you guys? That sounds amazing. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Right, guys, I'm going to keep going here now because I could stand here chatting to you all day. Because you're great fun. But I'm going to keep going and I'm going to get all of this done, okay? So I've almost the whole way around cutting my shape out. Fantastic. So that's your first section done, all right? We're going to do the next bit then, okay? So don't do anything a minute. If you have the whole thing cut out, wait a minute. Yes? Um, I'm uh, doing my shamrock with my mom too. Amazing. This is the best because I don't really know how to do it. Brilliant, but your mum is fantastic help. And you can remember for next year and then teach each other. My parents a Brilliant. <laughs> so you're all making your parents work and I see Corrine is helping there as well. So you're you're all um you're all using your parents. That's great. <laughs> so guys, I'm gonna just finish cutting mine out there now, okay? So I have it all stuck onto my white piece of paper and I am finished cutting it out, okay? I'm so I've got mine. mine to school to show the class amazing do that they'd love that i think now this is what i'm left with when i've cut it out so i'm going to use another sheet of paper 
Okay, so I'm gonna get one sheet of paper and this is where your string comes in, okay? On the back. I'm not done cutting. That's okay, I'll go over this again in one minute, so don't worry, okay? If you're finished and you wanna do this next little section, you can follow me, but I'll repeat this again in a moment, okay? So on the back of the bit you've just cut out, you're gonna just cover this in glue. Loads of glue, okay? Make sure you go out to the edges, okay? Loads and loads and loads of glue. And when you have it covered in glue, you're gonna take your string, like this, and fold it in half, like that. My string is empty. That's okay, so you just need to cut a little piece of string, a bit, well, a big piece of string about the length of your arm, okay? And what you're gonna do then, you're going to just place your string on your gluey shamrock and put it down on top of another sheet of paper and glue it on. So you've trapped your string in between the bit you've just cut and the new sheet of paper, okay? But I'm gonna talk about all of that in one second again, so don't worry, all right? So when you've it all cut out like this, like my one here, have it all cut out and it's ready to go, I'm gonna just place it on the table and put loads and loads of glue on the back. So loads of glue, okay? Um, and I meant what I said earlier on about my rules, my two rules, loads of chocolate, loads of glue. So don't be mean with chocolate, don't be mean with glue. Um, so I'm gonna put loads and loads and loads of glue on. So if you can see the glue, you're doing a good job, okay? So it'll be really kind of slimy because it's covered in glue. Um, and I've put lots and lots on there, okay? So I have lots of glue on it. You can see, look, it's all shiny there in the light, okay? I'm gonna take my string, which is longer than my arm, okay? If it isn't as long as your arm, it's okay too. So we're just gonna make a loop. You're gonna fold it over and you're just gonna place it on top of your gluey, slimy shamrock like this. All right. And then you're gonna take the whole thing and stick it onto another sheet of paper and really, really make sure it's stuck together. Okay, so by leaning on it, you can lean on it and make sure it's really stuck together. So you can see what I've done there. So we've trapped the string in between your shamrock and the paper. So really, really make sure it is. And you can squeeze it down here, okay? So really, really pushing down on it there. I'm slapping it down. You're slapping it. Great, great. <laughs> Perfect. And when you have that done, we are going to cut around the shape again, being careful not to cut the string at the top. Okay, so it just gives you a lovely back here. So it means the string is trapped between the paper that you've just stuck on and your ornaments. This is what you end up with here. OK, so you can see that if you look carefully there, you can see my string is trapped in why between don't you it. Cut a, why don't you cut out a, string, a strip of paper and then just stick that on instead of putting a whole sheet and cutting it? Do you know why? Because um, if you just put on a little strip of paper, when your shamrock gets hot, if you hang it in a window, it'll curl up, the paper curls up, and then it hangs like this uh, in the window. So by putting another whole sheet of paper on, it what we it, it's called reinforcing, it makes it stronger, okay? So that's why we don't do that. But that is a good idea too, all right? Good question. So I'm gonna just cut it out a second time now. All right, and guys, if you're a little bit behind, this bit's very simple. So don't worry if you haven't been able to finish it. Also, I'll have this video, um, I'll give it to Kareem and maybe she can send a link with the video if you're a little bit stuck or you might wanna make this again during the week for a gift for somebody else. So you can do this video again if you want, all right? So don't worry if you're a little bit behind, but I think looking at most of you that you're right on time with me, all right? So these are looking really good. These look really nice and they're 3D, so they really stand out. Um, and as I said, they look brilliant in a window. 
and um, you could also make lots of mini ones you can make much smaller ones but i decided to make a big one today because uh, we wanted to make a big statement like it's saint patrick's day Woohoo! like that I, I finished mine already did you can i see um, fantastic so when you stick it onto the page you've just got to make sure that the loop is at the top i took a little bit of paper and made a pac-man sewing as well amazing so you were very busy you made two things I'm mine. Fantastic. That yeah. looks brilliant yeah. as well. I made a ghost and, and you made a lovely picture as well. Oops. It's true. So I don't want the Pac-Man in the corner. I do. I see it. Yeah. Tiny. It's a tiny, teeny Pac-Man. I've got a lovely Pac-Man t-shirt. That's brilliant. Now, guys, if you have them done... You can hold them up there and just show me, okay? So this is my one's finished. Okay, this is my one is done. And I'm just putting on gallery mode there so you can show me. Wow, guys, they look fantastic. Well done, they're absolutely brilliant. I know some of you are still gluing and sticking and cutting away there, but that's okay. They look fantastic. That's page one, let me have a look at page two. Show me those. Oh my god, guys, they look amazing. Well done. Well done. And you see the word I And I love there's a purple and a polka and dot one. Man. I did see that, yeah. And Kate, I love the purple one with the spots. Well done. And did you see my little spaceship I made? Well done. That I did. Would be the type of spaceship I would have if I was a spaceman. That is very cool. I'd go away in that spaceship. So guys, I, I had a really, really lovely I time. Thank you all for having me in Studio Wolf. I had a really lovely time as always and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks guys. Um, Thanks so much for coming. Can... Did you want to say something, Aaron? Um, maybe because I'm really 